few minutes. I'm getting ready to go for a spin on the bay for a few minutes. It's a shade after the noon. I'm eating leftover lunch. That's the clams and linguine from Sunday night with the cube steaks chopped up from last night. A good hearty lunch. What do you think, Jack? I think it's very hearty, he said. You too, Indian? Well, here we go again. We had a lot of wind last night, up to 20, 22 gusts. Maybe we'll find something, maybe we won't. We'll see how it goes. Looks like the tide got up to about right here last night. The other day when we were here, we were hunting about here, about right there, to about right up there. So I guess we'll just continue along that way. We're going to go east today, though. We went west the last time we were here. Stand by. <laughs> Doc Beaver, he went to the land of Nada last night. Didn't find very many targets. Kind of scarce, sparse, sparse on targets. But he did find a, a gold earring. I forget how many grams. I think like two grams, a gold earring. I'll show you a picture of it along with his nut. It was one of, the, one of the biggest, really nice, sort of nice looking gold rings I've ever seen. He said not, I seem to be sanded in bad still, which I think we already knew that. I forgot to add the mumbles man's nut from the other day. I'll add that back here tonight too. That was from the bay. Wait a minute. Iron, I think. Yep. That's the first sound we had. We've been here 10 minutes. I'll get back to you. This is a seven. I think it's a piece of junk here. Wire, I think. I don't think that's it. No. We got it though, whatever it is. First first target was a piece of iron. Looked like a battery or something, a little battery. Now this is worse than worse than that. Look at that, piece of crap. Okay. There's a little ripple slew here I run up on, you see it? Goes the right good ways. Just down from that cut right there. We got a... a strong 21 right there. We dug a penny and a quarter right here uh oh and another target right there i must have missed that one coming through here i got a penny right here and a quarter right here let's go see what we got here it says 22 i mean 20 not 22 but 20. That's jumped up to 41, probably another penny. Yep, penny it is. All right, let's move on to the next target. It's right along here somewhere. There it is. Same number. We'll put the first penny right there. And we'll dig up this other one. See what it is. It's dropped down to a 13 now. But 
that's a penny too. So somewhere we have another penny right here. I didn't cover it up. I don't see it, but I know it's right here somewhere. There it is. So we got two pennies. And we got three pennies and a quarter. So we're doing better than we did yesterday. Look at them tickets. Hot. Damn. Okay. So what else we can find in this little ripple slough here? We got about a, a half a block to get to the honey hole. That's a little piece of gray matter. And it looks a whole lot better here. We got rocks. I'll show you. You see them right there? Rocks there, rocks here, rocks there, rocks everywhere. That's a good sign. Little rocks down here. Still not finding much at the water's edge. What few things I found, I've been up here about 10 feet. Right where the waves stopped at last night in that wind, right here in this grass line. But I like the rocks. I'll get back to you. Got a knockout 30 right here at the base of this dune. Knockout 30. Probably junk. Damn, it ain't allowed. 31 now. They have retrieved it. They have it in our scoop hole. Looks like 25 meter sand. Nineteen eighty it looks like. Nineteen eighty three. Well, now we got 54 cent, I think, or 55. We're on a hot goose. Yes, sir, re a hot goose. I like it. A hot goose, I say. Onward and upward. Maybe we'll have to keep working up higher here. But not yet. See, we still got some scattered rocks along. Okay, I'll get back to you. Well, let's go up here to the top of this dune one more time. Okay, there's a misplaced buoy. I guess the little breeze we had or the one before moved it from wherever it was supposed to be. It looks like a no wake buoy or something like that. It's, it's not standing up where I can read it too good. A wayward buoy. Dune cut back pretty good here, but it's been like that a long time. It didn't just happen. There's not much up here. Cans. Damn, 
I think that's a quarter laying right on top. And I said there was nothing up here. Great. Oh, no, it's one of my buddies. First one today. Bottle cap. You turkey. That's what I was going to say. There's some of them up here, some beer cans. Yeah. And the like. Not many tickets. Okay, that's it. That's, we're headed back to the west now. Towards the client recliner. The recliner's calling me. I tell you something else. My last two or three spins I've been on, about this time of day, my left hip and my right hip are trying to tell me something. I don't know if it's arthritis or hips, but I got some sensation, some tingling. I don't like it. I mean, it ain't bad. It's just I'm not used to it, you know? Something new. I guess it happens when you get old as dirt. Or halfway as old as dirt. Let's move back down here where we might find something. I'll get back to you. no rhyme or reason for this. There's nobody come down here. You can see there's no foot tracks or anything. Was it in the dune? It got washed out. Amazing. That's amazing right there. No, no traffic here. I don't understand it. But it's cool. Here we got winter dry storage. Storage for the winter. If you ain't lucky, it'll be uh, covered up by the winter. <laughs> Dry storage at its best. Right in that trash can right there. That's where this treasure is going. Trash can. Look at that. What the hell's that doing way down here? And cut off. Never know. Gray matter. This one's shiny on one side. Three quarters. Good gracious. One meager dime. Some pennies. Some crap. Exercise. Well, we're back home from Taco Tuesday night. Tim and his wife and Chris and myself and Chris's son eat tacos on Tuesday night. Or they eat tacos. I eat carnitas, which is pieces carnitas. of pork. Carnitas, I guess it is. And I'm going to share this nice Christmas card I got from you. I mean, I'll show you. I got that from uh, Jim and Gina. You know, the couple that live uh, in Hampton, not far from me, that hunt on the beaches and places. Coils to the Soil is their YouTube channel. Nice Christmas card. I like it. Okay, that's, uh, that's it. There's the Indian. The Indian showed up. He's trying to steal the cat's food. Bigger Jack, he said, I'm just resting now. I don't need no food. Indian, what do you think, baby Indian? Yeah, he's a little Indian. Yes, you are. I've got a soft spot right here. Look at that soft spot. Oh, that's my spot. I can do anything for that spot. 
Yeah, you better go get in your bed over there. Your big soft bed. Big Jack's already on his big old bed. I'll see you tomorrow somewhere. <laughs>